Hello everyone, my name's Zillier2 and welcome back to my Let's Play of EU4 with Tibet, aka Bon. Yes, so in the last episode we started off in the Extended Timeline mod all the way back at the earliest start date. As Tibet, we conquered many of our Tibetan brothers, but now all we have left is Chung. We have become a uh, prote uh, not protectorate, a um, tributary state of Han, which ultimately sucks. But um, you know, whatever. We can deal with it. We can deal with it. Uh, we did conquer or partially conquer Kashmir because they had a Bon province and they conquered this Bon province. So now we have Mahayana, a Mahayana land, which, can I even convert it? Actually, I can. 3.3, that's pretty good. Um, so, I guess the only real way I'm going to be a uh, able to easily convert things is with an Inquisitor. But th those are pretty hard to come by. I mean, you can get one here. Ooh. Gain a skill 2 Inquisitor. Usually, it's a skill 3. But actually... I could do that. It's 50% cheaper for the country, too. I like that idea. You know, let's do that. In fact, you know, there is a crisis, a crisis, a crisis, where if you let one of these guys get too powerful, too influential, they can take you over. I'm thinking, Maybe we want to make ourselves into a theocracy, since obviously this is all about being the ultimate bon. I don't know. But anyways, let's continue on. So we had a bit of rebel problems, uh, but nothing too much I couldn't handle. Chung, what are you at in military? Probably not that amazing. Probably. Uh, only 7,000. Uh, I believe we have nine. Yeah, 9,000. All right, good. They're healing up right now, so let's give them a second. All right, good. So we should be able to build one more. Yeah, it's only 0.2. Actually, we could build uh, two more. Might as well. Might as well, then. Actually, supply limit's only eight in these areas. What? Why is it much higher? Oh, I forgot. This area is the Arctic. For some reason, this is considered Arctic. I guess it's because it's in the high uh, Himalayas, but whatever. Uh, so let's go ahead. I'm not gonna save the game, no real point. Let's go ahead and attack Chung. It should not be that hard. Not hard at all, really. Uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and take their capital. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's just go ahead and take their capital. Hopefully, we could take it much faster than they could take ours. Because, yeah, they can take over all this little land, but uh, their capital is what we want. Uh, we're going to raise war taxes, obviously. We should easily... Yeah, it only costs 117 to take them over. And that will be all of Tibet under our control. Q wants a marriage. Sure, why not? All right, we just got an, a, a wife, a queen consort. Uh, Pew, our favors are at 10, so we can indeed go to war with, say... Actually, we could probably... Do Assam all by ourselves. But uh, like Koch or Nepal. Maybe I should go to war with Assam. Assam, what is your military like? Only 9,000. I could probably take those guys out on my own. And then I can go for like Nepal and stuff. Huh. Just gain manpower, please. Oh, for God's sake, stop sieging my land. You're just increasing my war exhaustion, damn it. Oh, fuck. He duped me. He duped me. Uh, how much war exhaustion? Oh, my God. Really? All right, let's, uh, we take some land. Actually, let's, uh, leave that there. All right, good. You, you, my little friends, can go retake some land. Oh, my God. Oh, now he's trying to retake his homeland. Not gonna work out for him though. Uh, all right, he's just running through Han lands now. Fantastic. All right, let's just separate one of these guys. Let's get you going out there. All right, you need to heal up. Just run into our mainland, heal, and then go ahead. Okay then. 
Um, wow. <laughs> I didn't actually expect that to happen, but whatever. So, the Dalai Lama. After years of misrule by weak kings who were puppets of foreign powers, the Dalai Lama, long the spiritual leader of the Tibetan people, has taken full control of the government. His Holiness the Dalai Lama seeks your advice. What kind of foreign policy should we pursue? We could either turn inward and create a peaceful Shangri-La, or chastise our treacherous neighbors. Uh, f fuck this. I, I, I said I wanted to become a theocracy. Might as well. I'm now Archbishop Sipti, whatever. Heir needed in Tibet. A local noble, foreign noble, merchant son, talented theologian, local pretender, or preacher. <laughs> pretender. Um, so it's really who am I going to piss off first? Well, oh, and I love how he's malevolent. That's just, well, really, we're not going to have any subjects. That just is actually really good. He's 58, so. Uh. All right, so a strong claim. Strong claim, strong. Okay, they're all strong claims. Lose devotion. Oh, shit, right. I think right now I need to gain devotion. So clergy. Likes me a bit more, but the nobility doesn't. Let's call for a diet. All right, let's go ahead and retake the land. Wave of, of a whatever is meh, but that actually means so. Wait, clergy, clergy power? I don't know how this works. I've never actually been a the uh, theocracy. It appears that um oh yeah, he's a zealot. Excellent. That's really going to help with the converting of that Mahayana province. All right, he's going to try to retake his land. That's okay with me. Theologian. No, gain 10 devotion, please. Need as much devotion as is possible. All right, you guys go ahead and combine. Political refugees. Right, so this is for um, the Han. Yeah, we gain a bit more devotion. I'm gaining just a ton of devotion right now. That's great. All right. Try to take out this army now. No? You're going there. How long is it going to take you? 4th of January, 23rd of December. All right, we'll catch them first. I suppose. All right, yeah, yearly tributes. Oh, that's going to be annoying. All right, we're getting a bit of rebels. Uh, war exhaustion needs to go down. Kangari. Let's do some harsh treatment on them. All right, and they're downed. I think they're actually... Where are they running off to? Uh, they're running through the Han lands. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, why don't you go there? You go there, and... There you go. That should be nice. Should be real nice. All right, and there we go. 100%. They are down. Give me all your money. Cool. Now, the t now Tibet is unified under the Dalai Lama, or the Archbishop. I don't, I don't get it either. Uh, <laughs> I mean, shouldn't I be called the Dalai Lama? Only makes sense, right? All right, so clergy and nobility demand control of lands. Don't know why, but they do. Oh, it's already a state? How is this already a state? Maybe it's because I'm Tibetan? I, I don't know. All right, but uh, well, might as well give them land then. So clergy, you know what? Wait, clergy needs 15% now? Oh, it does. Ooh. So there you go. Clergy's done. Let's give the nobility this crappy little piece of land. And that should be fine with them. We can make states in Kashmir or the Himalayan Hills. Are these... No, where are the Himalayan Hills? Oh. Wait, where are they? This? Oh, okay. So it's... Huh... That land. Oh, it's Kashmir and Himalaya, I'm assuming. I'm going to assume. Whatever. All right, so Assam is actually already our rival. So, hey, might as well build the spy network, get it going. Right, can we convert that land? We can't because we don't have the missionary, which actually is going to make it easier now to convert. Great. All right, go crazy. Currently at 22% uh, percent unrest. Uh, I knew this was going to happen. Alright. Go ahead and take them out. 
good. All right. Um, come on. Really? Could you not nobility right now? I already had 43%, so it doesn't matter. Whatever. All right. Let's move these guys back out. Can I get another soldier? No, I cannot. Yearly tributes. Uh, 384 people. Great. Increase the trust by one. I'm sure having 65 trust with them is going to be amazing. All right. Uh, so, Pew, you could help us with the Psalm, although I don't really see a point in it. Really? You guys can't get supported there? Fine, go there. So right now, the unrest is obviously very high up here. Though it shouldn't be all that high since there are Tibetans and Bon. Oh, come on. God, I hate them so much. Uh, we can't have the nobility hate us anymore, so let's just gain admin points. That's fine. Uh, I don't know what that clergy is. Maybe it's like clergy influence? Uh, I don't know. Do not ask me. Why is unrest so low there? Lower than the other two. Odd. Are you guys done? Uh, so Zhang Yu is not a tributary. They Han lost the war. Huh. Didn't expect that one. Huh. Whatever. All right. So Assam. We now have the claim on you. I'm gonna wait just a little bit longer because I don't want to uh, go to war while we have all these rebels. By the way, what is your... Alright, your culture is Assamese. I can only... How many cultures can I support? Uh, two. I can get two supported culture Or promoted cultures. Uh, I'm probably going to do Bang Bengalese and Assamese if I'm going down south. Seems like the smart idea. The smart idea. I can have one more. It's really, really close. Yeah, let's do it. Well... The one big problem around these parts is that there's no fucking supply limit. It's like, just it's all just gone. Alright, so your unrest is very low now, since you are Bon. Glorious, glorious Bon. I'm probably also going to convert these uh, this culture over to Tibetan. It's going to cost a lot, but I'm going to have a lot of Diplo power uh, by that time. Cheers. So, you know, it's all it's all good. It's all good. More tributes. God damn it. Th again, this is why I hate Han so much. Or not Han, but just being a so annoying. Because all they're like, demand more, demand more, demand more. Like, shut up. Shut up, all of you. I hate you so much. Uh, we are kin? Oh, really? We're not kin. No, yeah, I'm Yarlung and you're Shriek. Shriek Shetra. Oh, weird. Wait, why am I Yarlung? I shouldn't even have a dynasty. That makes no sense. Like, really. And if I was the real Dalai Lama, then my heir should be a Z. Like, whenever they're born, you have to find the new Dalai Lama. That sort of thing. That's how it works. So, uh, I don't know. This game's got some splaining to do. But, you know, Dalai Lama declaring war, taking over all of uh, East Asia, I I'd, uh, and becoming the emperor of China. Yeah. Yeah, I'd find that pretty weird. So, can I... No, I think I, don't, I, think I can't be a tributary state if I want to uh, take over China. That's a problem. Oh, shit. Supply limits low literally everywhere. Uh, unrest is also very low around these parts. Again, I think I'm just going to um, sit around for just a little while longer. Are you guys still a vassal? Yes. Oh, they're at war with Han again. Is Han trying to... Uh, yep. Second Han war for the Zhang Yu to bow down. Oh, hello, Japan. Japan is formed. And there's Shinto. That was quick. I remember... Um, Whenever I played this game, Japan just never forms, and Shintoism never forms either. So they become like, they're usually, um, yeah, Emishi. The Emishi take over, and it's Animist. So, well, that's weird. But, whatever. I'll ignore it, I guess. No real point. So are they a Shogunate? No, they are an Emperor. Eh, makes sense. He's a really good Emperor, too. 
And I'm a sip tree. Again, shouldn't I be the Dalai Lama? Shouldn't I be the Dalai Lama? Oh, by the way, we're a swastika. In case you didn't know where swastikas came from, it's uh, from Tibet. Yeah. Fun fact. Uh, Pew, no. Arakan, we'll do that eventually. Gain some prestige. Alright, so the Chung. I'm getting very, very close to rising up. Uh, might as well send someone up there. At least to try to stop them. Maybe if we split in half, could we wipe out the last bits of, un un of uh, unrest? It looks like it's close, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Meh, whatever. So, can we strengthen? Alright, we can indeed strengthen government to get some more uh, devotion. Which is good for me. So, what do I need to do here in uh, the classical age? Well, I've already gotten quite a bit of splendor from having no unrest. I need 800 to purchase one of these. So, well, honestly, I don't really want any of these. 20 provinces with 10 development. That is insane in the membrane. And in a monthly in income of 50. And classical empire. So basically, Rome. Rome is like super powered now. More powerful than it's ever been. But actually, as I say it, I can already make some big cities. Now, I might actually move my capital to here because it's not the Arctic. And it's a religious center. You know what? That makes perfect sense. And it's the center of trade. Which, uh, you know what? <laughs> yeah, might as well. Totally. Alright, uh, let's go ahead. Boost it up to the highest amount we can get to 14 that is a, oh god, I forgot they switched these out. Uh, get rid of rivals. Yeah, there you go. Development. So now Lhasa is nice and big. No longer the tiny little uh, city, or villages, really. No longer the tiny little villages we once were. Tibet is now strong. I hope. I really hope it's strong. Alright, Chung, please don't rise up. Please don't rise up. And also, you, you guys don't rise up either. Probably going to have to go to you guys separately to do uh, to, uh, stop you, but, you know, whatever. Oh. Alright. I guess he died. Yeah. Air in Tibet again. Alright. A uh, preacher? No, nobility is already pretty angry, so maybe... Yeah, might as well piss off the clergy. Oh, a 444. Pretty good, I'd say. Pretty good. So, okay, everyone's happy. Nice and happy now. Happy, happy, happy. Han takes away more of my soldiers. No, it's fine, Han. You don't need to, you know, do anything. Why is unrest so high? Oh, shit. I forgot he was just. The leader we had before was totally just. So, uh, now unrest is going to be 2% higher. Which really does not help us in any situation at all. Ever. So now we're going to have a revolt on our hands. Great. Uh, military leader has left us Pew. I don't really care about Pew. I could increase the autonomy, but... Actually... No, I can't increase it there. I can increase it there. But that's Kashmir, so it doesn't matter. They'd rise up anyways, because they have that other core. Alright, Chong, if you're gonna rise up, rise up. I don't really care anymore. There's still Zhang Yu is still not a vassal. But southern Zhang Yu got taken over. Political capital. Uh, let's get more devotion. Never bad to have more devotion. Oh, who's this? The Meow. Yes, the Meow Separatists. Makes sense. Uh, what do we have here? 2.50. Hey, so we can indeed take down quite a bit. Claim on the Chabushiraya. Oh, this place. Yeah, cool. I'll take it. Eventually. Again, don't want to have a rebellion on my hands when uh, we go to war. So we're just going to be sitting around. Uh, and I don't want to separate the armies because they could die. 
So, again, we just sit around. What's the supply limit here now? 14. Excellent. Excellente. Again, with the giving of manpower. I'm not getting that much as it is, so... Yay. What's our relationship at? Alright, good. Neighboring her heretic religion really does not help. Granted, who could hate the Bon? We're so... We're so bonny, you know? <laughs> Whatever. All right, but you know what? This is where I'm going to have to end this episode. Yes, so Tibet has finally been unified, and the Dalai Lama is now in power. Us being a theocracy really only makes this point. Archbishop, you know, I'd, I'd love to know what an em theocratic empire would be. Or even better, if, if once we took the uh, empire of China, would he be called the uh, emperor? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Elira too, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.